every body in that grave will experience the squeeze of the grave. But for the believer, the squeeze will be just like the squeeze of a mother that have not seen her son or her daughter for such a long time. A very gentle, beautiful, full of love and tenderness. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رحم الراحمين We ask Allah Azza wa Jal teach us what benefit us benefit us from what he taught us and increase us in knowledge Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen My dear beloved and respected brothers and sisters I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make me and you benefit from these reminders كل نفس ذائقة الموت Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, Kullu nafsin, every soul shall taste death. The reminder today is about that night that we are all going to experience. It's about that night that is coming without a doubt and only Allah knows when. It's about that night that is getting closer with every breath we take. It's about that night, if it's good, everything after it will be much better. And if it's not, everything after it will be much worse. It is the first night in the grave. My brothers and sisters, as believers, we all know that we are all going to die. And our family, our beloved ones and friends, they will perform the Janazah prayer and they will take us to the graveyard. They will put us in the grave. They will be very sad some will be crying but at the end of the day the children will leave the parents will leave the spouse will leave the friends will leave the very dear brothers will also leave and we are left alone after everyone leaves Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that there will be a squeeze that every person will experience. Dhammat al-Qabr. There will be a squeeze that everyone will experience. Every body in that grave will experience the squeeze of the grave. But for the believer, the squeeze will be just like the squeeze of a mother that have not seen her son or her daughter for such a long time. A very gentle, beautiful, full of love and tenderness. But the squeeze will definitely take place. And then after that, we will hear the footsteps of our family members and friends and brothers leaving the graveyard. And then the two angels will come, sit the body up and ask the three questions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهُ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا تتنزل عليهم الملائكة ألا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا وأبشروا بالجنة وأبشروا بالجنة التي كنتم توعدون. At that time, when the angels start these three questions. Whomsoever was steadfast in this dunya 
whomsoever struggled and strived to please Allah in this dunya, the angels will come down and give them the glad tidings. That there's nothing to worry about from the people you left and have glad tidings of what's coming after. The angels, the two angels will ask the three questions. Look at the mercy of Allah that he gave us the three questions and he gave us 30, 40, 50, 20, 80 years to prepare the answers and he gave us the answers. You've never seen an angel in your life and even if you are above the ground and you see an angel, you get startled. Can you imagine under the ground, in that tight place, in the darkness, you've seen this angel. So can you imagine how you're going to react? And they're asking you a question. They're asking you three questions. Who's your Lord? What's your deen? And what's the name of that man that was sent to you? What's the name of your messenger? Whomsoever had steadfastness in this dunya, Rasulullah told us in a very long hadith that he will answer very easy. Who's your Lord? Allah. What's your deen? Islam. What's the name of the man who was sent to you? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why it's very important at that time when we bury our beloved ones, the best dua to make at that time, Allahumma thabbithu for the male or thabbitha in the su'al. Ya Allah, keep them steadfast when they are being questioned. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make me and everyone who's watching steadfast when they are questioned. After the, we pass the test of these three questions, what happened? An order from Allah with five glad tidings. First, the grave will be furnished from Jannah. The grave that to me and you, it looks like two by six. Allah will furnish it from Jannah. The second thing will happen, the person will be clothed from the cloth of Jannah. All these are uh, told to us by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they have authentic hadith to support them. And then the person in the grave, a gate of Jannah will be opened for him or her and its breeze will come to him or her and he smells its fragrance and he feels the delight in what he sees. Allahu Akbar. Third, a fourth, the grave will be made spacious as far as the eye can see. From above the ground, we think it's small, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, keep in mind the life of the barzakh, the life of the grave is completely different than this life. Allah will make the grave very spacious. And fifth, he will be given the glad tidings of Jannah, of Allah's pleasure and Jannah, Allahu Akbar. May Allah make us all from the people who will get these glad tidings. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. My brother, my dear sister, after a few days when we pass, people start forgetting us. Our wealth, properties will be distributed. The tears will dry. What happened after your neighbor died? What happened after your cousin died years ago? Anybody still remember them? Why do you think that me and you are going to be different? If you want to know what happens after your death, look what happened after someone else's death. So what's the point? The point is we will be alone in that grave. And, you know, according to the hadith, what will be left with us? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us, after we get all these glad tidings, 
Then a man with a beautiful face, a man with a beautiful face, beautiful garment, and sweet odor comes. And the person in the grave said, who are you? You are, uh, you look so good. You have, uh, uh, you have such a beautiful smell. Who are you? Your face is perfectly beautiful. Then the person would reply, I am your good deeds. Allah Akbar. I am that salat that you prayed. I am that sadaqat that you gave. I am the Quran that you read and you memorized. I am the fasting. I am the struggle that you went through. I am the two rak'ah that you prayed in the middle of the night. I am, I am all the great amal. They will come presented in a man with a good face that will be our companion till the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. At that time, I, or every time someone dies, my brother and sister, I want you to remember this ayah. فَوَرَبِّكَ لَنَسْأَلَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ أَمَّا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Ya Allah, Ya Allah. This ayah in Surah Al-Hijr, Allah Azza wa Jal is swearing by Himself. فَوَرَبِّكَ Allah is swearing by Himself. What is He saying? I will ask them 100%. I will question everyone about what they used to do. We will be questioned about everything. Everything. So, my brothers and sisters, since that will be our companion in that tight spot. I don't know how hot it is or how cold it is, but I want to have a very good companion. I don't want to be from the people, Hatta ida jaa ahadahumul maut qal, Rabbi rji'oon. We don't want to be from the people, Ya Allah, please bring me back. Ya Allah, please bring me back. Ila ajalin qareeb, just for a short period of time. What do you want to do? Ya Allah, I want to wear the hijab. Ya Allah, I want to pray every salat on time. Ya Allah, please bring me back. I want to give in charity. Ya Allah, please give me, bring me back. I want to read the Quran. I want to be good to my parents. Ya Allah, bring me back. Ya Allah, please bring me back just for a short period of time. Allah said, لَيُّ الله نَفْسًا إِذَا جَاءَ That's it. You were given so much time. You were given so many talks. You watched so many videos. You have attended so many Jumu'ahs. And every one of them was a reminder to come back to Allah. And you kept on telling yourself, I have a lot of time to come back to Allah. And then the angel of death comes. When he comes, he doesn't send a text message or an email or a phone call, I'm coming. He comes fajah, suddenly. A car accident, a, a drown, a, a sickness, uh, Allahu Alam. So my brothers and sisters, this is the time. This is the time to make that night, the first night in the grave, the best night ever. This is the time when we are still above the ground. So from now, stop all the things that might ruin that night. Stop the riba, stop the gambling, stop the alcohol, stop the cheating, stop the infidelity, stop the smoking, stop dealing with haram, stop selling haram, stop buying haram. Wallahi, wallahi, Allah is all truthful. He said there will come a time that we would come back and say, Ya Allah, bring us back. Subhanallah. And Rasulullah he told us, one time he was walking next to a grave. And he said, if this man in the grave was given the option, listen carefully, my brothers and sisters, if this man in the grave was given the option to come back to the dunya and told, you will own the whole dunya or pray two rak'ah, what would you like to do? Rasulullah said, rak'atan, he will pick the two rak'ah. 
Allahu Akbar. Because of what he found, the result of obeying Allah, he did not take any penny with him. Have you ever seen anybody take their car with them, their house with them, their clothing with them, their, their, their money with them, their vaults with them, their children with them? Nothing. Only the a'mal, only the deeds. Please, brothers and sisters, before it's too late, before it's too late, we all know, we all know that 100% that day is coming. And when we say something or someone is coming, that means with every second that passes by, they are getting closer. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make our first night in the grave the best night ever. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the first night in the grave of our parents, of our beloved ones, the best night ever. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make our last deeds, our best deeds, and our last words, La ilaha illallah. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.